Well, before Rosa Parks, there was this woman, Claudette Colvin. On March 2nd, 1955, the then 15 year old was arrested for refusing to give up her seat on a Montgomery, Alabama bus. Now, that laid the groundwork for so many other civil rights icons. Well, now, 67 years later, the civil rights pioneer working to finally have her juvenile record expunged. News Nation's Jen Cardone from our Birmingham station was there when Claudette Colvin filed the paperwork. We thank you. The chants and cheers ring high as Colvin makes her way to Montgomery County Family Court, ready to file the papers asking for a clean slate. It shouldn't have been arrested because I wasn't breaking the law. Nine months before Rosa Parks, staying put while sitting next to two white girls on the bus. You had to stand up over empty seats when there was an occupied by white passioners. So I think I thought that was. A very unfair. Turning in the documents to one day make it official. What little gesture I can do, I'm going to do to make sure that we support this effort and make sure that the right thing is done. Montgomery's DA saying it's his pleasure to help her do the right thing this day. We owe a lifetime of thank yous. The mayor wanting to do more, but because it's a juvenile case, the city doesn't have the authority. I'm honored to be here. Uh, as we try to do our part to correct the record. Reversing this wrong into a right. It's good for us to assemble. It's good for us to sing. But the struggle for equal justice has not ended. Continuing to fight the good fight. It might not benefit you, but it'll benefit the next generation. Reporting in Montgomery, Jen Cardone, News Nation. Back to you.